400 years since its creation, telescopes now allow us to observe into the distant edges of the universe. But there are many things in space that cannot be seen through an optical telescope, and among them are the gravitational waves. The gravitational wave telescope, Kagra, is designed to catch the signals of these gravitational waves. Another new instrument to explore the universe is about to be born. In the early years of the 20th century, Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of gravitational waves as a part of the theory of general relativity. In this theory, it was revealed that space-time can be stretched and shrunk like a rubber band, and the presence of large amounts of mass or energy distorts the surrounding space-time. Gravitational waves are generated by accelerated masses and propagate outward from their sources at the speed of light. Violent and cataclysmic astronomical events like star explosions would produce detectable gravitational waves here on Earth. Some examples of such events are the supernova, marking the death of a star heavier than the sun, pulsars, black holes, and neutron star mergers. And scientists believe gravitational waves produced by the Big Bang itself still remain. In 2015, gravitational waves produced by a pair of merging black holes were observed. As gravitational waves pass through, it causes faint distortions in space that cannot be felt by humans. Usually, this distortion is so weak that it is only enough to change the distance between the Earth and the Sun by the width of a hydrogen atom. These tiny displacements must be detected to demonstrate the presence of gravitational waves. This is realized through the laser interferometer. A laser beam is split into two paths and reflected by a mirror. The reflected beams are used to detect the changes in the distance of the light traveling between the mirrors. The difference can be as subtle as 10 to the power of negative 21. To minimize disturbances from seismic noise, Kagra is constructed in a stable environment 200 meters below the ground surface. In the L-shaped tunnel with two 3-kilometer length arms, vacuum tubes are installed to allow the laser beam to travel through. At the end of each arm, a cryogenic device is installed to house the end mirrors which reflect the beams. The mirrors are cooled down to a cryogenic temperature of minus 253 degrees Celsius. The infrared laser beam is injected into the interferometer after passing through the mode cleaners, where the laser frequency is stabilized and the beam is shaped into a circular profile. Construction of Kagra began in May 2012 starting out with the excavation of the tunnel. Dynamite was used for excavating the tunnel, and construction work proceeded at a world's record rate of more than 360 meters per month. Meanwhile, the mirrors for the laser interferometer were developed in the United States. These mirrors are made of sapphire and feature a high reflectivity of greater than 99.99% while having a low loss of less than 120,000. The mirrors are cooled down to minus 253 degrees Celsius in a device called the cryostat. They will be kept at cryogenic temperatures to reduce thermal noise. 
This is another key feature for improving Kagra sensitivity. A cryogenic suspension system was developed for mitigating vibration of the cryostat. Vacuum ducts were installed to prevent the laser interferometer from being exposed to the atmosphere. Duct surfaces have been polished in order to reduce the outgassing rate. Each of these duct units is 12 meters long and 500 units were produced to cover the entire length of the two 3-kilometer arm cavities. The duct units were temporarily stored in tunnels of the discontinued Kamioka Railway. A research laboratory was built on the ground surface. Computers for data analysis will be installed in this building. After the excavation work is completed, the cryostat is transported. The cryostat was stored at a place that was about 20 kilometers away from the tunnel. The hauling route was carefully chosen to safely transport the 2.6 meter wide and 4.3 meter high device. Since the size of the tunnel was designed based on the dimensions of the cryostat, there was only about 10 centimeters of clearance space between them. It took two days to transport the cryostat through the arm tunnels. Then, the vacuum ducts are assembled and installed along the length of the tunnel. Computer hardware was installed in the research laboratory. During observation, vast amounts of data will be generated every day, which will be collected and stored in these computers. In order to be able to identify signals of gravitational waves from these huge amounts of data, scientists are also conducting research on data analysis techniques. The mirror is installed into the cryostat. The cryostat will reach its target temperature during its one-month cooling time. Experiments using lasers have begun. All components of the Kagra telescope will be operated remotely from the research laboratory. And finally, in 2019, the Gravitational Wave Telescope has been completed. More than 300 scientists from around the world participate in the Kagra project. Later this year, Kagra will start joint observations with LIGO in the United States and Virgo in Italy. This will allow scientists to locate the source of gravitational waves with greater accuracy. In the future, 
through observation of gravitational waves, we can expect to explore further back in time than we have ever done before, and see events such as the moment of birth of a black hole and the universe. The gravitational wave telescope, Kagra, will open the doors to a whole new world.